All right, so before we move on to the next feature, I want to add a few gems to help us with our testing. So if you look at our user creates post spec and user signing spec file, you can see that we are creating user and we have to manually type in these strings every time we create a user. That's going to get tedious and I can see myself creating these users uh, a lot later on so I'm gonna add a factory to our app so let's go to our gem file and under test we're gonna add a factory girl rails oops, rails and then specify the version number which is 4.5.0 And we're going to add faker and version number is 1.6.1 all right so let's bundle that okay so if you go to uh, factory girl uh, documentation getting started you can see that you have to add this to our RSpec configuration. This is not mandatory, but it's uh, it comes in handy. So we're gonna do that now. So let's go to spec rails helper, and we're gonna add that uh, right here. All right. So let's go back to the getting started guide, and you can add this lint. In our configuration but I'm not gonna do that here if you're interested you can just read this part and so let's create our factory for user so we're gonna first create a directory under spec spec factories and we're gonna create a file so spec factories uh, users.rb. You can just copy this now um, and paste that in. Alright, so this is going to create a user factory and we're going to uh, change some of this. So, alright, so here we're going to have username and it could be anything. So, like Example user uh, email example user at gmail.com uh, password password and we can replace our uh, user model in our spec with this factory. Um, let's go back to spec feature user creates post and in here we are creating user model with an active record create method but we can just use our factory here instead of doing that we can just say create user and that's going to create a user model this factory girl is going to create a user model for us and you can configure some property on the model like if you want to configure that like custom username you can do that as well but if you by default it's going to use this string right here that we define in our factory file so let's see if that works. Um, all right, so let's run the spec, and it still passes. So our factory is working. So let's use a factory here as well. Uh, instead of doing that, we can just say 
create user. Spec. And it still passes. All right, so that's good. Well, we added Faker Gem <clears throat> in, uh, to our app. The reason why I did that is because we don't want to hard code this username and e email and password. If you're creating a bunch of users, you want to have different usernames and emails for each user. So we can use a Faker Gem to do that. There's other ways to do this. User uh, Factory Girl supports sequence, and you can look you can uh, look into it in the getting started guide as well. But we're gonna use Faker Gem here. So let's do that now. So if you uh, go to Faker Gems documentation, Faker has a bunch of uh, module and it's gonna create uh, different data for us. So we're gonna use this Faker internet module and you're gonna call username, password, and email on that. So let's do that here. Internet username. Faker internet email. Alright, let's run our spec again, make sure it's working. Oops. Uh, expected to find text example user. Oh, alright, so let's go back to user creates post. We hard coded this here, so we're gonna just say um, user dot username. All right, that passes. All right, so that's good. So Factory Girl is really useful when you're creating a bunch of models and objects in your uh, test. So I definitely recommend you read the documentation for this gem. And while we're at it, we're gonna add another gem to our gem file that's gonna help us with uh, Capybara test, our feature test. All right, so we're going to add another gem, which is launchy. And the version number is 2.4.3. So let's bundle that. All right, so what this gem does is in your feature test, if you go to the documentation, you can say first install Capybara and RSpec for Rails and then you can just drop this line in your feature test and it's gonna create it's gonna open the uh, I'll show you what what it does it's easier to just see what it does so so let's open up spec feature user create posts and let's say you have a bug up here and you can't figure out why so um, you're gonna add that line you're gonna add this line save an open page in our feature test save an open page and if you run this test launch is gonna stop our spec right there and it's gonna open that uh, file in our browser and you can see what's going on inside your browser and this doesn't load CSS and JavaScript so it looks kind of ugly but it helps with your feature tests if you're debugging so that's really handy all right so that's good let's delete this line so we added our we added some gems to our uh, app, so we're going to commit that. Add factory girl launching 
to gem file. All right, so let's merge this branch in. Run the spec again. All right, that's good. All right, also next in the next video, we're gonna add more feature to our app. And we're probably going to add CSS and our Bootstrap framework to our application. Thanks for watching.